Hello and welcome to another episode here on the channel. My name is Ken Small and today GOG dropped the ball pretty big with announcing that Devotion is coming to GOG and then announcing that it is actually not coming to GOG. What happened? Well, let me read the message first and then let me tell you what exactly is going on here. Earlier today, it was announced that the game Devotion is coming to GOG. After receiving many messages from gamers, we have decided not to list the game in our store. What does that mean? What is Devotion? What is going on? Well, if you have never heard of GOG, GOG is the platform from CD Projekt Red where they are selling older games, indie games and most importantly DRM-free games. Devotion is a horror game made in, I think it was Taiwan, and it is an indie horror game and it's actually pretty good. Now the game came out over a year ago on Steam and it was very well received. Till the moment there was an easter egg in the game. And this easter egg was not really planned, like it seems like one artist basically put that easter egg into the game and it was basically like a thing where they made fun about uh, the Chinese leader Xi Jinping and compared him to Winnie the Pooh. If you're not too much into politics, um, and I don't really want to make this video too much about politics, but in this case, in China it is forbidden to compare Xi Jinping with Winnie the Pooh because apparently his ego is getting attacked and he doesn't like that when his little dictator ego is feeling bad. So yeah, you can get punished there in China for that. And because of this Easter egg, and a lot of angry, angry Chinese players, keep in mind, Steam is not officially out in China, but even with that said, millions of Chinese are using Steam to play. So they, of course, review bombed the game and were absolutely outraged for this. So Steam made the decision to remove the game. Then the developer came forward and was like, yeah, this wasn't really like our idea. This wasn't planned. We will remove the Insta egg. We are sorry for this and we don't want to be political. So here's the version without the Insta egg. Please put it on your platform again. And Steam was like, uh -uh. Mm -mm. like Chinese players are pissed at you forever. Um, we are not touching that. Like, we will not damage our money income from China just because of a small indie game. Not gonna happen. Like, you are done for here. And they tried to find a platform since, but nobody really wanted to touch it. So, GUG then announced this morning that Devotion will actually come to the platform. And people were happy and hyped about this. And, well, then they announced it will not happen because they received a lot of messages from gamers. And I can only assume that they got a lot of messages from Chinese players and Chinese bots to paint a picture of, hey, if you want to make any business here in China, at some point, you better not put that game on your platform or we are through. And that can definitely be because keep in mind when you want to open up a business, especially when you start to release games and whatnot in China, regulators will take a long look at your history and the games you have on your platform. And then they will decide in the end on a whim and personal preference if you are going through or not. And having a game on your platform, which is definitely shunned in mainland China, or even had it at some point, mm, not looking good. So what GOG basically did here was a business decision. It was a pure business business decision for their China um, business. And that is not an excuse. I want to make this clear. I will not excuse them for this. I am very much disappointed by GOG and CDPR um, I see where they're coming from, but I'm still not think that's okay. Especially because the view on China has really changed in the last year, not just in the USA, but also Europe and other countries. And 
people slowly but surely start to see China and the Chinese government especially and what it is and that's a dictatorship and people slowly but surely realize that and unfortunately also the power China is using to basically push economic ideas and also like their government idea but again I don't really want to go too deep into this because that's a political topic and I'm not a political news reporter so sorry you have to you have to get that somewhere else like if you want to talk about the political aspects about this um yeah not on my channel but this was definitely a political and unfortunately business decision in the end so yeah I'm very very much disappointed by this uh will this have any repercussions probably not like in the long run it will not hurt them but this has just been a week for GUG and CDPR this has just been a week like first the release with cyberpunk then the problems the consoles have um the policy regarding getting refunds especially on playstation and all this it just has been a week for them and i hope they're getting their stuff together especially i'm still trying to figure out how this whole process worked like somebody agreed to put devotion on the platform right like somebody greenlit this and was like yo we are taking this game on and then a few hours later somebody higher up in the food chain must have called and basically scream at the person who greenlit this are you crazy take this off take this off like it's it's a mess and again i'm really really disappointed by this so CD project get your shit together and maybe you want to rethink your morals a little bit that's the only advice I can give you. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, uh, don't forget to like. And if you're new to the channel, you want to see more gaming news, gameplay, and other cool videos, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel because we are releasing videos nearly every day and we have a live stream from Monday to Friday starting at 8 a.m. EST where we also talk about gaming news and playing, well, believe it or not, video games. So thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.